Paup haben vor zwei Jahren hier bei uns auf der Lorelei gespielt. Wir sind sehr froh, dass die wieder zurückgekommen sind, weil sie eine ganz tolle Platte in der Zwischenzeit gemacht haben. This is Hardcore. The last time that you were here, I know that we talked about two songs specifically, Common People and Underwear. Right. Uh, we could talk about every song on the new record because I really like the record. That's uh, my oh, that's honest feeling about that. But let's talk Look about... Beer, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> But Let's, let's the yeah, exactly. Let's start though, with the first song, which I really like anyway, The Fear, which is right. an interesting song because it's about fear, but it's also about the song in itself. I yeah. mean, and it fits very well with the last song on the record, which we'll come on to in a minute. But did you set it up very much as being the way, you know, to get into the record? That was the way of, of talking to your audience. I never intended that song to be the first song, but it was, uh, as happened on the last record, the engineer did a, did a, a, a preliminary running order and put the fear first and I thought it was I thought it worked you know because it kind of you go in at the deep end and then gradually through the record you come up for air but you know you're saying about it's a song that sings about itself because it's described in a very kind of paranoid uh, state of mind slightly psychotic state of mind where the mind starts feeding back on itself so I think it's quite it's quite appropriate that the song itself is obsessed with itself because that's what people are like when they're in that kind of mental state. They can't kind of communicate with other people because it's all internal. I have uh, Jarvis gerade gesagt, we couldn't über jedes song auf dieser neue Platte reden, weil ich finde die Platte wirklich sehr sehr gut. Er hat gesagt, wir würden dann den ganzen Nachmittag hier sitzen, würden überhaupt keine Zeit mehr Musik zu, zu hören, und das ist auch richtig so. Aber er hat gesagt, der vier, das erste Stück auf der Platte ist eigentlich genau richtig an dieser Stelle. Das war eher der Tontechniker, der gesagt hat, wir sollten damit anfangen. Das ist ein Stück über Paranoia im Grunde, das ist ein Stück über Angst, aber es ist auch ein Stück über jemand, der Songs im Grunde schreibt und darüber hinaus auch eine gewisse Paranoia spürt. I get the impression though with this record. I mean, the last record was very successful, but this record seems to have just pulled everything together and it's gone on very much from where you were before. I mean, the string arrangements on their own, for instance show the band from a whole different perspective. I mean, the way that the record ends and everything was, I mean, was that something that, that took a lot of time to get together? Were you on a lot we of pressure? Take, well, it did take a lot of time. Took we took plenty of time. Go ahead, go ahead. We, well, it took too long to get where it got, which was just a bit further. It took too long to get, which was a bit further. It's had so long to get out of there to come where they had been. But why did it take so long? There's a number of factors. Uh, one was that we hadn't really written very much whilst we were touring. The other was that long-standing member Russell left, which took a bit of us getting used to the band without him. And uh, maybe because our, our situation had changed and uh, we were quite determined not to just kind of repeat the formula of the record that we'd done before. So. But then again, not to go off at such a tangent that people wouldn't be able to tell it was the same group anymore. So it, it just ended up being a bit more difficult. I wouldn't want to spend that amount of time on a record ever again in my life. I just think it was kind of inevitable because of the circumstances, but I hope that I just wouldn't bother again. <laughs> the next one I'd like to do in about three weeks, and I hope it would cost about £5,000 to record. Also die nächste Platte möchte er ganz schnell machen, am besten nur drei Wochen damit verbringen und es sollte nicht mehr als 5000 Pfund kosten. Der hat gesagt, es hat sehr lange gedauert, diese Platte zu machen, nicht zuletzt, weil ein Mitglied der Band, das war der Russell, die Gruppe verlassen hatte, man musste sich erstmal darauf einstellen und dann hat das halt viel, viel länger im Studio gedauert, als man eigentlich vorhatte, weil man was anderes machen wollte, aber gleichzeitig diesem Stil von Paul beibehalten wollte. Let's jump to the last song on the record. Uh, which is a, a song that again, I mean, it, it fits so well at the end there where you're singing about men are over, women are over, Sheffield is over, irony is over, yeah. which in itself though sounds ironic. Oh, but you're, you're going too deep there. You, you, you're way ahead of me. You've lost me there, man. I don't know. Uh, uh, no, it's, it's just... <clears throat> That's the answer I, right there. That's no, ironic. I mean, like I say, the, the songs were written and we didn't really have any conception of where they were going to go. But then it seemed quite logical that that song would go the last song because it's uh, it's kind of reaching a point of uh, of resignation and of, of of acceptance of certain things. It's so uh, so it's saying things are over. Yeah, I mean, and I hope they are over. You know, it's not like saying goodbye. My life is over. My career is over. <laughs> I hope. It's more like saying, but, uh, but it's just saying, you know, it's over, and that's all right. Certain 
untoward things may have happened, but as long as you lay them to rest and bury them on sanctified ground, they can't come back to haunt you anymore. Das letzte Stück auf der Platte heißt The Day After the Revolution und es hört auf, indem Jarvis unter anderem singt, Männer sind vorbei, Frauen sind vorbei, Ironie auch vorbei, auf Wiedersehen. Er hat gesagt, es ist aber kein Abschied für immer natürlich, das ist im Grunde auch teilweise ironisch gemeint, aber es gibt bestimmte Sachen, die man gerne begraben möchte, damit kann man sagen, wir haben das gemacht, die Sachen sind jetzt vorbei, wir können jetzt neu anfangen, was ganz anderes machen. As always, you're beautifully dressed, I must admit. What are these made out of? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm not sure what they're made of. I think it's mainly a natural fiber. I'm not sure. They're all right, though, aren't they? Yeah, they shine nicely. They as do, a they? Yeah, cloth gold. Cloth gold. Yeah. Yeah. Sehr schöne Hose hat er. Und das sieht man bestimmt, dass die auch hier ein bisschen in das Licht so it, schimmern. Sehr, sehr schön. And what's this on here? Oh, this is just, it was our... It's just a sun shield, basically. Yeah, basically. Nothing special. Because it's very sunny, yeah. It's not a fashion item. No. Also für alle, die zuschauen, es ist kein Fashion-Item, was er auf dem Kopf hat. Das ist einfach, weil es hier sehr heiß ist. It's a pleasure talking to the pair of you again. All right. Looking well, forward very much to, to seeing you again very soon. I know well, you'll, you'll hear us later, hopefully. Yeah, but the thing is that this interview will actually be broadcast after right. the concert. So we have to be very careful. You love the concert. <laughs>